All right, so anyway. full disclosure to anyone watching and listening, um, I did, in fact, get these questions off of the Internet. Uh, Google searched them, so if there is incorrect information, apologies. Uh, feel free to let me know if uh, an answer is wrong, uh, but that's where we're coming from. And you said basically it's the first one to answer? Is that uh, how you're doing Do we have our sound effects, or are uh, we... I think we're going to have to do with that. I think, I think we may, maybe alternate like okay, last week. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll alternate questions. Yeah. We need to get a buzzer in here, though. We do need to get a buzzer. So if anybody has buzzer wants to let us borrow it, S- that'd be great. Send us a bell. Yes. <laughs> that would be great. Oh. All right. So let's see. So JT, since you won the last <laughs> time, you will get the first question. Ooh. All right. The first question is, in Star Wars A New Hope, what Imperial Star Destroyer intercepted Princess Leia's ship above Tatooine? What Imperial ship? What Imperial Star Destroyer intercepted Princess Leia's ship it above Tatooine? It had a Tatooine? specific name. This it is did. how well I'm going to be star, doing on this. It was just a this. Star Destroyer. It, it, did ha- it had a name. Interesting. I may be in trouble The here. internet says it has a name? Hmm. Uh, good, thing, good thing I talked myself up to winning this thing. Yeah. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, anyone who's a Star Wars expert, but I but I do have a name. Sheldon, are you listening? <laughs> uh, what Imperial de- uh, Star Destroyer? I didn't know it had a name. No. It was just I, a Star I, Destroyer. I pass. Um, Fred. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the answer is apparently the Devastator. Okay. It's called the Devastator. Oh, that's Aren't, right. That's okay. the ship that's uh, given uh, yeah. Darth Vader. I thought you uh, were, yeah. were you going to do mil- multiple choice like last time. Uh, un- unfortunately, these did not come with multiple choice. So. Okay. <laughs> well, in that case, Fred, Ginger, Bob. The, just, yeah. the, the internet has <laughs> yeah. not provided me multiple choice, okay. and if I made up some things, you'd probably figure out what the real answer Welcome is. Welcome to Star Wars, one of the biggest universes ever created in fiction, and <laughs> no way of keeping track of all this. All right, so Scott, hmm. um, let's let's start with this one. The ancient design of Kylo Ren's lightsaber dates back to what historical conflict? I'm not going to say. My friends, I think you see where this is all going to yeah, be. Going. Be I, think, I think we may <laughs> be uh, DCing the Star Wars trivia. No, you know what? No, we're, we got to do this. We got to do this. I have, I have to redeem my ego here a little bit. Uh, I don't think it was. I'm going to say the Mandalorian Wars, but I don't think it was. That is incorrect. Yeah. If oh, it helps yeah. at all, it, it it also starts with M. Oh, now you're giving it an One of the words starts with M. I have no idea. It is the Great Scourge of Malachor. <laughs> Malachor. Mm. All right, we're we're going to do this. Actually, I do know that. I did hear that one. Crap. I'm do this. Crap. I'm do this. All right. What bounty hunter employed a bowcaster as his weapon of choice? A bowcaster? A bowcaster. Uh, I think I know this one. I only know one bounty hunter, and I don't think he had a bowcaster. Ah, dang it. I know I'm wrong, but... Ah, Boba Fett, because I just don't know any others. Yeah, I would have guessed that, too. I, I don't know any others either, but it, that is not correct. I think it's Cad Bane. It is not correct either. Holy shit, I'm a stick. <laughs> it is not. The answer is Embo. Hmm. Oh, that's right. Was he the one that was killed indirectly by... No, yeah, one. sure. Whatever. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's that guy. It's that guy. Um, all right. Well, this is... Why, why are we... Uh, yeah. This is tougher than I expected well, here. I'm, I feel is, dumb. I, I, I feel I dumb. I Welcome wanna, to the expanded universe. I did not want to ask easy questions because I figured, you know, like. Who played Luke Skywalker? Exactly. Harrison what, Ford. What species <laughs> is Chewbacca? You know, I, I, I wanted right. to get some theoretically hard questions for very big fans. and. Yeah. So this may be closer than I thought because I talked a good game, but I'm going to fail here. Yeah. I had I don't my answer so far had been I don't know. Well, we're tied. Well, the, <laughs> yeah. the next question surprisingly. Next question does come to me, I think. All right. So, <clears throat> let me see. Hmm? All right. Okay. All right. Poe Dameron, Dameron? Mm-hmm. Dameron's okay. mother gave him his fir- first flight lessons in what type of starfighter? 
Next one. No. That is incorrect. His mother gave him flight lessons in what type of... What type of starfighter? We are looking for a type of craft. <sighs> nope. <laughs> do you, do you, it, it, Maybe a TIE fighter? It is not. No. It is not. It is an A-wing. An A-wing. It is Falls. an A-wing. <laughs> We may have to go to, like, basically, you who may. is Darth Vader really? We may. We may. All right. Ugh. Um, Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So if you, like, I'm it, not that big of a Star Wars fan. And I am. That's what bothers me here. All right. It's like you stack the deck. I know. Like, oh. well, I, My pride's I, on the line here. Okay. So how about we move from Star Wars to a similar film? Auto? A film that's similar, yet sillier. In suspense right now. A film the, that was a parody of Star Wars. Balls. A balls. very famous parody of Star Wars. Which you actually, I think, know better than I do. Um, and if, yeah, it's a film that is near and dear to me. Um, we're talking about Spaceballs. So let's let's do a couple of Spaceballs questions. All right. All right. Damn. Should have stayed with Star Wars. <laughs> well, I would have gotten it. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. All right. So, JT. Yes. What was Lord Helmet doing privately in his room? That he did not want anyone to see. Playing with his dolls. That is correct. Yep. Yep. <laughs> you see, no, I didn't see you playing with your dolls, sir. All right, Scott. Name the character that was voiced by actor Dom DeLuise. Voiced by Dom. Voiced by Dom DeLuise. Voiced see. by Dom DeLuise. She did a voice in there. Do, 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 do. Shit, I don't know. Pizza the Hut. You are of correct. Oh, <laughs> so angry um, right now. Just a uh, a word of advice from the sound crew. Um, when you bang the table, it makes a lot of noise. Of course. Oh, Thanks, guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna freaking lose again. <laughs> the way this is going. Oh. You know, had you, you, had you gotten Wars. some of the Star Wars questions, you well, if you stayed with Star Wars, I think it would have gotten it eventually. But. All right, all right. So we're back to JT. Um, what statement can be read on the bumper sticker on the back of Spaceball One? Mm. What? Dun, 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 dun. How, I'm going to guess here. I, I should know it. I think this is wrong, but how's my uh, driving? That is incorrect, but it is it, it is you're you're on the right path with a typical eighties, uh, nineties bumper sticker phrase. I break for Ah oh, damn it. I break for nothing. You are so close, it's we break for nobody. You're what not gonna give that one to What do you think? Should we give it to him on a technicality? Flip a coin on that fifty fifty? We'll we'll give it to you on it. You were you were yes. yeah. close. We'll give it to you on it. We'll, we'll give it to you. <laughs> All right, Scott. Oh, yeah, it's my turn. It is your turn. Um, which actor played Prince Valium? Uh, I don't remember. I'm bad with names. I will. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll give you a hint. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. I'm, I'm bad with actor names. So okay, I'll give you a hint, it. but it won't count. Um, he also... Now I'm blanking on the name of the show. <laughs> this was, is how memorable this he was yeah, also, yeah. is. He was also prominently featured on that, you know, the that game show where the stars yeah, the, the were the tic tacs the tic tac toe boxes. Hollywood, Hollywood Squares. Hollywood Squares. He, hmm. he was very prominently featured on Hollywood Paul Squares. <laughs> no, it was not Paul Lind. It was not. No, I don't know. It was not. It is Jim uh, J. Bullock. Okay. Of course. Of course. Damn it. How could I forget Jim whatever his last name was again? I apologize Curses. to you if you are listening to us right now. <laughs> I, I actually, I actually had a roommate in college who was a big fan of his. So, um, truthfully, truthfully. Hmm. Um, all right, Scott, back to act questions. Is it back? To oh me? no, it's back to GT. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm sorry. I mean, I'll take it if you want. No, 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 no we'll be fair. Uh, sorry, it's another actor question. Uh, who plays Princess Vespa? This one I know. Princess Vespa. Uh, I know it, but I don't know her name. Damn it. Ah. Uh, I never learned the actress's name. She was mostly in the 80s and then kind of disappeared. So, 
Uh, I have to pass it to Scott. All Daphne right. Zuniga. You are correct. Yes! I'm sitting here waiting, waiting. You it, are correct. It, don't get it right, don't get it right, don't get it right. <laughs> I, right, know, I know, like, three or four names yeah. of, the, of the cast. All right, so we're, so tied we're salivating on the five. table. <laughs> we're tied two to two. We're going to do one more question each, and uh, we may have to have a sudden The first to three kind of a thing? Yeah. might end up being a Star Wars question. Um, okay. It's another, it's another actor question. Where are we? We're, we're, we're on Scott. Um, who was the voice of Dot Matrix? Joan Rivers. That is correct. All right. Hang on, hang on. I'm, I'm getting a couple pencils out here. Sunday. I'm going to do my best, Steve Harvey. I'm going to ask you a question. Okay. If you answer correctly, you will go to sun and death. <laughs> if you do not, you will lose, and Scott will win and the, the game. Win the money. <laughs> what planet do Lone Star and company crash land on? Hey. I'm going to give it to Scott. I don't know. And it doesn't matter, I don't think, either. It, does, it, it actually does not matter because you will win by default, but... I should... Yeah, it's, it is the moon of Vega. Yeah, I was okay. going to get that. Scotty wins! <laughs> All right, so... Down did, to, down wait, to wait, nothing wait. pulls I just out... Realized we never discussed what I had we, to we do. We did not discuss what you have to do. Oh, it's but, okay. But, you know, Scott's, uh, Scott's embarrassment came as a fan recommendation, so we'll, uh, we'll ask the audience. Uh, we've got a couple of days. Actually, we've got... I'm just proud for pride purposes. We, we, I was so ready to go down 03 in this in this competition here. We've we've got a little bit of time, so um, if anybody wants to suggest something that JT needs to do as the first time in yes. the history of yes. our show, loser of a bet, <laughs> we'll uh, we'll figure that out for next time. Yeah. Um, but let's. Uh, we may not do that for uh, for the next show, though. We, we yeah, I want. I want the circumstances. We yeah, I want to try to avoid embarrassment for the next Due show. Due to circumstances, we may postpone the embarrassment uh, till our yeah. next next show. 